So I have this. That means the impedance <coughs> is proportional to rho L C L. If I say C L is the uh, uh, speed of propagation of a string. T L is C square rho L. This is same as C L square. Okay, plug in over here. So characteristics. Uh, uh, impedance of a string is rho L C L or rho L C S and this S is to emphasize the, the speed of propagation of a string. Okay? So by seeing the problem in two ways, we found the speed of propagation. All I am trying to say is that, again, we got wave equation by considering infinitesimal element of a string. Okay? Before, we got wave equation by seeing or assuming all possible waves right going wave and left going wave and then using mathematical operator we got wave equation we got same wave equation but considering infinitesimal element of a string but what the present we have is the physical relation of speed of propagation with the characteristic I mean, the properties of a string that is a TL over CL, or I would say characteristic impedance of a string is a rho LC. And we see that later on, every characteristic impedance of a medium is rho C. The characteristic impedance of air is rho C. The rho is the density of air, C is the speed of propagation that is possible in the air. It holds up to now for string in one dimensional case, but in fact, this concept holds for every three dimensional case. But suppose that three dimensional is sort of constituted by all one dimensional wave, one dimensional wave this way, and one dimensional this way, and one dimensional this way, then we can say that, or argue that, by understanding one dimensional wave of a string, we could at least have a foundation to understand the three dimensional waves in general. Okay? That's why my lecture note is written starting with the one-dimensional case. Okay? Isn't it amazing? I am the only guy who is amazed by saying that, or I am inviting all of you to <coughs> have a, a same physical understanding of the acoustics. <coughs> Okay, let me summarize again. <coughs> By drawing following picture. <coughs> okay, governing equation. <coughs> One dimensional wave. Okay. 
and boundary condition <coughs> BC does not stand for B before century. Right? Don't confuse it. <coughs> Boundary condition. For example, fixed boundary condition or free boundary condition. How to express a free boundary condition? Force zero at x equal L. Right? There's no possibility to apply the force at a free boundary condition because a free means a free from any constraint that means no force. And this, why? And this, or If your string is located over Oh, sorry, <laughs> very strange. What is the boundary condition over here? The boundary condition is can be composed by M C, K. Okay? So that is general boundary condition. This boundary condition determine the solution. For example, this case Different solution will be determined. And also we study the role of this boundary condition and uh, in fact we found the characteristic impedance of, of medium is one or two really determines how much wave is reflected and transmitted. Compare with the instant wave, G1. Reflected one is on x equal zero is proportional to All depends on the impedance, nothing else. And <coughs> how much is transmitted compared with the instant wave? I'm talking about the amplitude, not the power. And the power you will work on. Okay. 